a few minutes after seven, she just took her last breath and I literally stood there and watched her take her last breath and watch her take her last breath. And it was, I literally did not know what to do with myself. I felt like I couldn't, I couldn't, I just didn't know what to do, even though I know what to do. I just didn't know what to do. So I'm there and I'm, you know, tapping her and shaking her and like calling her name and to see if she's going to respond. But I can't find this feeling, feeling. I can't. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have this little dresser system on the floor that I want to try and set up really, really quickly. Okay? Let's see if we can put y'all here. Because I want to put it inside of the second bedroom, but um, I have to set it up to be able to do that. So we're going to try and see how, how that works. Finally done setting up the little dresser system. I definitely call it a dresser system. That is gonna go inside of my second bedroom so I can store things inside of it and also I can repurpose that when I'm done with it because I can put it inside of this closet here. It's wide enough to fit the entire length of or like most of the length of the closet here. So I could put that in there if I ever get tired of seeing it in the other bedroom. And um, yeah, I absolutely love it. And it creates more space because I think I mentioned uh, quite a while ago that I sold the two nightstands that I had inside of that bedroom. So there are no nightstands in there and those nightstands were really nice and very deep drawers. And so the things that I naturally would have stored in a nightstand, you know, I'm probably going to just transition them to that. I still have the chest of drawer in there and there still is a closet in there. But eventually it'll all make sense when I put the room together. As you guys know, normally when I put things together, then... Uh, I will come back and I will show it to you guys. But for right now, that's what that looks like. And I absolutely love it. So, yeah. I don't have anything planned for today. I'm going to sleep. I feel so exhausted. But that may have been because I didn't sleep last night on my break. Um, I was up with my friend Jules. And we went to Dunkin'. I was just eating and talking. And that was great. I felt like I needed that. So, um, I'm going to sleep for a little bit. Maybe I'm going to wake up and go on a walk today. That's a plan that I had for myself. We have to see how, how that how the day progresses to see how that part of it works and then um you know i don't know maybe cook something but for right now we're gonna sleep i haven't even had breakfast but i'm gonna put that over there and probably sleep hi guys i just got home and I'm completely disheveled and debilitated. Just all of those words that would, you know, I just, um, when I was, I was doing a one-to-one -one last night and 
I had this patient who, you know, she was, her blood pressure had been low the whole time, the whole night I was checking it. You know, her heart rate wasn't too bad. She was bradycardic, but it wasn't too bad. And like a few minutes after seven, she just took her last breath and I literally stood there and watched her take her last breath and watch her take her last breath. And it was, I literally did not know what to do with myself. I felt like I couldn't, I couldn't, I just didn't know what to do, even though I know what to do. I just didn't know what to do. So I'm there and I'm, you know, tapping her and shaking her and like calling her name and to see if she's going to respond, but she just wasn't. And then, you know, we had to call the nurse and stuff like that. But it was so, it was so emotional, just so damn emotional. Because even though I was there with her all night and she wasn't really talking, she was alive. And when you went over there and you touched her and you called her name, she would open her eyes and look at you and she would grunt. And, you know, so to see her go from that to just dead was oh, absolutely heartbreaking. So freaking heartbreaking. I felt so bad. But... I guess that is I'm in sorry you're feeling that way. Some slow breathing could help. Say, open the mindfulness app to try some guided breathing. <laughs> it's the only time I'm not mad at her for listening to my business. Yeah? Missy had sent all a link, but may I think I've misscribed some in look at. Yeah. Who's dead? Eh? Oh. And then the when he was Dang. All right, may I look? Yeah. All right. yeah. My coworker, my friend just sent me some. Um. <gasps> wow. Yeah, so that happened and that was just the most heartbreaking thing, honestly. And, um, you know, because it was after 7, I was handing over to the morning shift. And, you know, but I was still there because, you know, she was obviously still mine. And then, you know, like, after a while she was DNI DNR, you know, my coworker was like, you know, Jared, you can, honestly, you can go. Like, I got it, you know? But I was just standing there just looking I honestly felt like I was no help to them because I was so I don't know if I was surprised I don't know what I was anyways I'm home I'm going to lay down and watch some Netflix and kind of decompress there's food in the fridge that I don't have to cook today which I'm so so grateful for I do however need to make some breakfast but I feel like I need to relax a little bit first before I try and do that so we're gonna do that and we'll see where the day takes us at this point we don't know where the day will take us just yet